we talked about some properties of parallel lines when you have a two parallel lines and a transversal when we saw that consecutive interior angles something about consecutive interior angles right interior and the same side the same side of the transversal yeah interior angles in the same side of the transversal what is that property so we stated it as a theorem and all then we proved that so tell me what is that property yes ma'am yeah ramya if a transversal yeah if a transversal intersect two parallel lines then each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary ma'am yeah so so we have seen that if a transversal intersects two parallel lines then every pair or each pair of uh, interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary so let's talk about its converse today we'll start the class now or we'll wait for one more minute and then start we will wait only some members have joined yeah so that's why i was asking how many people were present for the other classes Okay, twelve or thirteen. Okay, let's wait. Thirteen, ma'am. Yeah. Hello, ma'am. Yes, sir. I will ask uh, my friend to join the class. Yes, sir. Okay, so if a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. Yeah. So, by the time everyone joins, try to find the converse of this statement. Okay. So we have seen uh, two or three theorems and their converses. So try to come up with the converse. you can uh, write, you can give your answers through the chat box after everyone joins i'll start okay Yeah, Ramya. We have seen the converses of so many theorems, right? So this is a theorem. If a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. So, can you try to come up with the converse of this theorem? So, converse of the theorem is nothing but you need to interchange the given and the conclusion, the premise and the con the first part and the second part. So, this statement. we can divide this statement into two parts okay so yeah what will be the converse of this statement try to come up with the converse and we'll discuss that today. so do you remember what is a converse Like this statement. Uh, can you repeat? Like this statement. So here, 
if I take this part, if we consider this part, if the statement is if a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. So, it has two parts. One is the if part and the other is then part, correct? So, if I take this part to be uh, the first part, so if and let me name this as P, this portion and then so, I am taking this then there and let me name this as a Q, the second part as Q. So, this statement is of the form if P then Q. So, when you are writing the converse, so you need to take this Q part and interchange it with the P part that is if Q then P, that will be the converse, oh, sorry, then P. So, can you try Ramya now? What will be the converse of the statement? Yeah, I am getting answers. So, uh, yeah, Jaffna, if a transversal intersects two lines, then the interior angles of the same side are supplementary, then the two lines are parallel. Yeah, you are almost there, Jaffna, the idea is correct. We can modify that statement a little bit. And Ramya, if a transversal intersects two lines, then the interior angles of the same side are supplementary then the two lines are parallel yeah your ideas are correct but you are repeating then twice correct okay then Vasanda is saying when a transversal intersects any two lines if the sum of each pair of interior angles is equal to 180 degree then the two lines are parallel when a transversal yeah uh, okay everyone yeah the ideas are correct so we will just modify this so, Vasanta is saying if the sum of each pair of interior angles is equal to 180 degree. So, you have not mentioned what, which type of interior angles you are considering and interior angles on the same side, right. And we can say like two pair, two angles are, if the sum of two angles is 180 degree, we can say it as supplementary angles, you can use that there. Yeah, as everyone has noted down, we can state this statement as if a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary then the two lines are parallel. So, here what I have taken see if in let us consider Jaffnavi's statement if a transversal intersects two lines then the interior angles like you have given two then. So, I have taken that as if a transversal intersects two lines such that. So, I included a word such that. So, then I removed that then there from the statement. You have given even Jaffnavi's and Ramya statement and a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Was not that look at this point on the same side of the transversal should also be there in your statement. So, if a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary then the lines are then the two lines are parallel. So, we now we need to prove this statement ok I would like uh, Patma to read this converse of the statement. Patma can you read the converse? Patma? Now, write this down in your notebook children. So, this is the theorem that you have discussed in the last class and this is its converse. Now, we are going to prove this. So, to proving this, so the statement is if a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary then the two lines are parallel. So, let us take the first part if a transversal intersects two lines. So, there what happens? So, we need two parallel lines 
and a transversal. Now, if a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. So, you can take a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, yeah. Ah, it's okay. It's okay, dear. So, yeah. Supraja, can you tell me any pair of uh, the pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal? Supraja, can you try to give me the pair of Yeah, Ramya, we are we are trying to come up with general statements. So, if we prove that uh, this statement, the converse is also true, then we can use this in solving so many problems, correct? So, that is why we are taking the converse of statement. We are checking whether this is correct. Then we can use that. Then that is a general statement. So, we can use in many uh, problems solving that. So, to get answers, you can use this. So that is why we are verifying this if, if this statement is if the converse is true. Okay. Yeah, now Supraja, can you try to give me the pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal? Which pairs should we consider here? Um, angle 3 and angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6. Okay, now Supraja is yeah. Vasanda, Vasanda was telling me three angle three and angle four and angle five and angle six. Okay, now Charan, uh, Charan, can you also give me? Is this true? Uh, do you think this is the angles we need to consider? Same set of the interior angles. The interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, we are talking about interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, I think Vasanda has given me this pair. So, do you think this is the pair of angles we need to consider here? Angle 4 and angle 5. Angle 4 and angle 5 and? Angle 3 and angle 6. Ang oh, angle, okay. angle 3 and angle 6. So, now I have got two pairs. So, which one is correct? Let me ask Danush. Danush, do you want to try? Okay, tell me which pair should we consider? So, then four and five. Okay. So, you are telling me you are standing with Sharon. So, this is your angles. So, what about? Remya, what do you think? Which pair is the interior angles on the same side of the transversal? Angle 3 and 4, angle 5 and 6, ma'am. Okay, now Remya is standing here with Vasanda. Okay, now let us look at the pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, if you have two parallel lines like this and this is a transversal. So, this is yeah. So, this is line L and line N. So, line L is parallel to line M and T is a transversal. So, eight angles are forming here. Now, we need to look at interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, if I name these angles as this is angle 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, this is 5, 6 and 7 and 8. So, these are the angles formed, 8 angles are forming. So, look at this angle, angle 4 and angle 5, are the interior angles are the interior angles? Yes, yeah, they are interior angles. Now, yes, ma'am. Okay, then look at the transversal. This is a transversal. So, are they lying on the same side of the transversal? T is the transversal. See. Yes, ma'am. So, everyone is telling, agreeing with that? Angle four and angle five are lying. Yeah, they. 
Yes, ma'am. So, what about angle 3 and angle 6? So, this angle and this angle. Even they are also lying on the same side of the triangle. Yeah, so the line, the tra line, tra the transversal T is dividing this, uh, this two pairs of lines into two parts and this is one side and this is the other side. So, when you are talking about the interior angles on the same side of the transversal, you need to consider this line, the line T, the transversal T and so transversal T is dividing this whole plane into two, right. So this side, that is this side and this side. So interior angles on the same side of the transversal will be angle 4 and angle 5, either this pair or this pair, angle 3 and angle 6, okay. Now is that clear for everyone? Is that clear? So, look at angle 4 and angle 3. Yeah, I am getting some answer. Okay. Yeah, angle 4 and angle 3, they are a linear pair. They are adjacent angles. They are interior angles. Yeah, I agree with that. They are interior angles. But look at the interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, considering the transversal T, angle 4 and angle 5 are the interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Okay. And we name this interior angles on the same side of the transversal have have two more names like consecutive interior angles and also we can call them as co interior angles or allied angles and yeah and correct angles. yeah so you remember now so now let's prove this one so we are given two lines a b and c d and a transversal tree T is intersecting the two lines at Q and R respectively. Now, what are the things given here? Now, what are the things given here? Line AB is parallel to line CD and T is a transversal. And? And also the angles which are lying on the same side of the transversal are equal to 180 degrees. Yeah, so which pair should we consider? Let us take angle 3 and angle 6, okay. This pair. I am just simply taking, so after this I uh, will give you chance to take this also 4 and 5. So let us take angle 3 and angle 6. So, this is a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal and we are going to take that a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. So, as Jafnavi said, I will consider the sum of these angles to be 180 degree. So, from the statement, so I am considering the pair angle 3 and angle 6, they are interior angles on the same side of the transversal and we are taking from the given theorem, we are take, from the given statement, we are taking it, their sum to be supplementary. So, angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degree. Now, we need to prove the two lines AB and CD are parallel. So, we need to prove that AB is parallel to CD. Now, can you think of anything to prove two lines are parallel? So, we have studied so many theorems. Yeah. No, alternate interior angles are equal. Okay, we can use alternate interior angles theorem. Then, what else we can use? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we have studied. Some. And we can hmm. use supplementary angle. How can we? Linear pair axiom. Linear pair axiom, yeah. Uh, yeah, linear pair axiom also we can say that uh, if a ray stands on a line then the sum of, yeah, yeah, sum will be 180 degree. Okay, but does that, does the, by using linear pair axiom how can we prove that these lines are parallel? Okay, let us see if we can try to use that also. Okay, Vasanda, let us see. Okay, then we have seen corresponding angles axiom also, right? So, by using any of this, we have to arrive at the conclusion that these two lines are parallel. So, let us look at angle 6 and angle 7. Yeah, let us see if Vasanda's statement was also 
considered like linear pair axiom or anything we can use anything when anything proved or like axioms which are universal truth we can use anything and then prove that these statements are prove that these two lines are parallel okay so let's look at angle 6 and angle 7 tell me what kind of angles are they angle 6 and angle 7 linear pair of angles yeah they are linear pair of angles so what about their sum Their sum is equal to 180 degrees. Yeah, their sum equal to 180 oh, degree. degree. So, I am writing that angle 6 plus angle 7 equal to 180 degree. Yeah, then I have marked this as equation 2. So, I have equation 1 which is angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degree. And this is from the given part. And then the next thing I have is angle 6 plus angle 7 equal to 180 degree by linear pair axiom like if a ray stands on a line consider this as a ray so rd is a ray which is standing on t and angle 6 and angle 7 are adjacent angles so this ray is standing on this line hence angle 6 plus angle 7 is 180 degree and now from 1 and 2 what can we say from 1 and 2. So, I have angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degree and also I have from angle 3 plus uh, yeah, angle 3 ok tell me tell me Vasanda. So, I have this is equal to 180 degree. Angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degree and I have angle 6 plus angle 7 is equal to 180 degree. So, look at this. Can we equate these two equations? Yeah, the RHS of these two equations is equal. So, I am equating angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to angle 6 plus angle 7. So, from that can I say angle 3 is equal to angle 7? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so angle 3 is equal to angle 7. Now, look at angle 3 and angle 7. So, what kind of angles are they? Angle 3 and angle 7? Corresponding angles, ma'am. Yeah, they are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. So, they are corresponding, a pair of corresponding angles are equal. That is the, that's the conclusion we have got from here. Angle 3 and angle 7, they are corresponding angles and they are equal. Now, what can we say about the lines? Ma'am, if, if the corresponding angles are equal, yeah. when it angles intersect through lines, then the lines are parallel. Yeah, so by the converse of the corresponding angles axiom, we can say that the two lines A, B and C, D are parallel. So, did everyone understand this? How did we prove this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. In, anyway, yes, let me let me repeat it again. So, yes, we are given that a transversal is intersecting two lines, and such that a pair of interior, yeah, yes. Okay, interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. So I took angle three and angle six. So their sum is one eighty degree. I noted it as equation one. Then we need to prove that AB is parallel to CD. So, when we look at angle 6 and angle 7, they are linear pair. By linear pair axiom, angle 6 plus angle 7 is equal to 180 degree. And equating equations 1 and 2, we get angle 3 and angle 7 are equal. And they are nothing but corresponding angles. So, by corresponding angles, the converse of corresponding angles axiom, we can say that the two lines AB and CD are parallel. Now, you need to consider this angles angle 4 and angle 5 and try to try to prove this theorem ok that is you have to try it in your home and check whether you can also try to uh, come up with the theorem uh, come up with the proof of this theorem ok so try that ok yeah ma now ok ok so can you try to state the theorem we discussed ok the theorem is if a if the hmm. intersect 
two parents then each pair of interior angles on the same side of tensor sir is supplementary ah uh, that that is not that that was something we discussed in the last class we discussed today the converse right oh, yeah sorry. now try to tell me the converse yeah the transversal intersect two lines such that a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary supplementary manner. then what happens then two lines are parallel yeah correct ram yeah it's good if a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary then the two lines are parallel so what happens to the two lines if sum of a pair of allied angles is not supplementary so now let's think about what happens to the two lines now can you tell me what will they be parallel or will they intersect they are parallel and they will not intersect okay now charan is telling me uh, that okay charan look at the question what happens to the two lines we are not given that they are parallel or they are intersecting so look at the question what happens to the two lines if sum of a pair of allied angles is not supplementary look at this one so the sum is not supplementary sum of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is not supplementary then will they be parallel or will they intersect what do you think yeah they will intersect yeah ramya is telling me they will intersect so supraja what do you think they will intersect or they will be parallel supraja jafnavi can you try yeah so here we have two pairs of angles they are interior angles on the same side now look at the measure 73 degree and 112 degree 107 degree and 68 degree so are they are the sum supplementary are the angles supplementary no ma'am no ma'am yeah both the pair of the angles are not supplementary now look at the lines are they parallel or are they intersecting they are intersecting ma'am they are intersecting correct so so from this we can say that when the sum is not supplementary when the sum is sum of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is not 180 degree then the lines will intersect okay now this is a question okay this okay okay so now we have another one so two lines if two lines are parallel to the same line will they be parallel to each other so this is my question okay geetika can you read okay geetika mom can you yeah, sure. read yeah Yeah. If two lines are parallel mm -hmm. to the same mm -hmm. line, will they be parallel to each other? Now, line? what do you think? Will they be parallel? Yes, so you have line L, you have line M, and there is another line, line N. okay so there are three lines so we are given that two lines are parallel so line l and line n are parallel similarly line m and line n are parallel now what about line m and line l so we are given that line l is parallel to line n line m is parallel to line n and what about line n and line n m sorry sorry m so what about these two lines will they be parallel what do you think yes 
Okay, so I got two answers. Okay, let's check. Will they be parallel? Uh, yeah. Pavan, what do you think? Will they be parallel? You can give your answers through the chat box also. Yes or no? Will they be parallel or will they be intersecting? That's it. Yeah, Vasanta, what do you think? Yeah, I'm getting answers. Yeah, parallel. Vanindra is also saying parallel. Yes, ma'am. So, so, this is a generalized truth. So, we are going to state this as a theorem. So, the theorem which states that lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. So, we can substitute into equations. We get, yeah. Okay. So, lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. Okay. Yeah, parallel. So, everyone is agreeing with that. Now, write down this theorem. Lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. Now, so how are we going to prove this? So, we have two lines, line L, M and N. Okay, three lines. And let us draw a transversal to these lines. Okay. So, now can you see the uh, figure? Yeah. So, we have line L, this is line T, transversal T. So, this is line N, M and N. So, three lines. Now, we are given that line M and line L. So, this line and this line are parallel and we are given that line N and line L, they are also parallel. Okay. So, yeah, so there is a transversal T and we need to prove that line, this line, line M and line N are parallel. So, we need to prove this one. Okay. So, is anyone getting any idea how to prove this two lines are parallel? So, we have studied so many converses like to prove that the two lines are parallel. So, we can use anything here. Okay. Anyone getting any idea? So, if we here we are consider these three angles angle 1, angle 2 and angle 3. What can you say about these three angles? Okay, let me ask. Ah, okay, tell. Corresponding angles. Okay, they are corresponding angles. So, since line L and line M, the first two lines are parallel, what can we say about angle 1 and angle 2? Corresponding angles are equal. Okay, corresponding angles are equal. So, can we say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2? Yes, okay, so we got angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Now, what about angle 1 and angle 3? So, yeah they, are also yeah, they are also equal. So, I am going to state this. So, angle 1 equal to angle 2 and angle 1 equal to angle 3. Okay. So, from this can I say that angle 2 is, is equal to angle 3? So, I got angle 1 equal yes, to angle 2 and angle 1 equal to angle 3. Yes, ma'am. So, angle 2 is equal to angle 3. Now, look at angle 2 and angle 3. They are corresponding angles. Yeah, I am getting uh, so many answers here. Yeah. They are corresponding angles. Right? Angle 2 and angle 3 are corresponding angles and we got they are equal. So, what about the lines M and N? So, we got a pair of corresponding angles, angle 2 and angle 3 are equal. Now, look at the lines. They are parallel. Yeah, they are parallel. 
So, did we just prove the theorem? So, by the converse of the corresponding angles axiom line M is parallel to line L. So, what we needed to prove was line M was parallel to line L. So, sim very with very simple steps we just proved that theorem correct. So, can you note this down? Lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel yes. to each other. So, for that we drew three lines and a transversal and we by the given condition we know that line two lines are parallel that is line L and M are parallel and line L and line N are parallel. So, then we look when we looked at the corresponding angles and we got that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 1 equal to angle 3 by corresponding angles x in. And from this to we got that angle 2 is also equal to angle 3. Since they are corresponding angles formed when a transversal tree is intersecting two lines M and N, we can say that line M is parallel to line N by the converse of corresponding angles axiom and hence prove the theorem. It is very simple, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, by using this, let us prove some problems. Let us find out some problems. Okay. Yeah. Jidika, can you read? Okay. okay. Can you read the question, Gidika? Mic problem. Oh, okay, Gidika. Okay. Okay, I am getting so many volunteers here. Who is that? Uh, ah, okay, Sharon. In hmm. figure, if PQ is parallel to RS, okay. The angle MXQ is 135 degrees and angle MYR is equal to 40 degrees. Find Angle X, M, Y. Yeah, so we need to find this angle, angle X, M, Y in figure. We are given that the lines P, Q is parallel to the line R, S. And angle, this angle, angle M, X, Q is 135 degree and angle M, Y, R is 40 degree. Now, we need to find angle X, M, Y. How will we find that? Think about it. I will show you how to find this. It is very simple. By using the theorem? Um, linear pair axiom. Uh, linear pair axiom. How will you prove that? Um, by using linear pair axiom, we can say that mm. angle M by S is equal to 140 one degrees. Angle M by. Angle which angle? Vasanta? Um, no, not. So, we only know that angle P, um, sorry, line P, uh, yeah, corres corresponding angle. So, where are you using corresponding angle? See, you do not have a transversal which is touching the two lines wholly, right? So, if I extend this, then here there okay. you will get a corresponding angle or alternate integer angle or like that. So, okay, let me show you. So, yeah, by the time it slots, think about how to solve, how to find out that angle. So, we have two parallel lines PQ and RS and we need to find the angle which is formed at the middle. So, let us see how to find it. Yeah. So, these two lines. Sorry for the delay. Yeah. 
so here this line and this line are parallel okay so we need to find the angle this one so let me show you so the line this is a line this is line pq and this is line rs so there is a line like this and it is coming like this so we we are given the angle here the angle which is made here as well as the angle here the blue angle and 180 minus this pink angle so this is the angle we are given now let's see so did you see that yes. So now are you getting any ideas how to solve this? So if I even change this point, so I took the point here. So now the angle is different. So let's see if it is same again. See I am taking the half, taking the angles pink and blue and now look. The sum of the angles is this angle, yeah. right? So how can we solve this? So this is kind of an idea how to give, how to find the angle. So what are the things given? PQ is parallel to RS and two angles, the measure of two angles are given. Now to find angle X and Y. So look at this point M. So if I draw a line which is parallel to line PQ, so if I draw a line like this, can it, can it be useful in finding our angle? So this angle will be, if I draw a line parallel to PQ, this angle will be, forty. yeah, 135, uh, 180 minus, 180 yeah, 180 minus 135 degree. So similarly, this angle will be, 40 degrees. 40. 45 degrees. 45. How did you, 45 how did you get this angle? 45. Okay, I am getting 45. Um, minus yeah, that 45 is 45 degree. 45 degree. Okay. Angular M is equal to 45. Plus 40. Angular M is equal to 45 plus 40. That is equal to 95. 95 or 85 was in the. 85. 90, 85. What is this? Uh, yeah, was it a mistake? Okay. Okay. So we are going to solve this by drawing a construct by doing a construction. So we are going to draw a line which is parallel, line AB, which is parallel to the line PQ through the point M. So we have drawn a line. Now we have known that AB is this is line AB. So AB is parallel to PQ and PQ is parallel to RS. So what can we say about AB and RS? Okay. So we constructed AB which is parallel to PQ. In such a way that AB is parallel to PQ. Now what about AB and RS? Will they be parallel? Yes ma'am. Yeah, they will be parallel because yes, of the theorem yeah. which we just proved. Like the lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel. So, AB is parallel to RS. Now, we know that angle QXM plus angle XMB. Okay, these two angles. Okay, whichever way you use, it is same. So, I have taken these two angles, angles QXM and angle XMB. What kind of angles are they? these two angles they are interior angles on the same side of the transverse cell and their sum is 180 degree okay do you remember that two, if two lines are parallel then yeah. the every pair of interior angles on the same side of the transverse cell is supplementary from that theorem i am stating that angle QXM plus angle XMB is equal to 180 degree or the way you use this also correct you can find this angle and this angle and this angle are 
alternate integer angles and hence, hence they will be equal. So, similar the same thing only I also did, but I did with a different logical reasoning. So, it is ok. Just you the thing is you need to give reasoning. So, AB is parallel to PQ and interior angles on the same side of the transverse LXM is supplementary. So, we can write that these two angles, sum of these two angles is 180 degree. So, from that I am getting angle XMB to be 45 degree. Okay, So, I got this angle to be 45 degree. Now, consider AB and RS. So, angle B M Y is equal to angle M Y R. Um, corresponding angle. Are they corresponding? Ma'am, alternate. Yeah, they are alternate interior angles. So, this angle and this 40 degree, they are alternate interior angles. Since the lines are parallel, they are equal. And we can say that angle B M Y equal to 40 degree. Now, look at the whole angle. We needed to find angle X M Y. So, what will be that angle? The sum of this angle and this angle. So, that will be 45 plus 40 degree? 9. Yeah, 85, 85 degree. 85 so, degree. we just proved that. So, we, we did that in two ways. You can, you can use any method you know, but the reasoning should be correct. Reasoning should be there also. The reasoning should be correct. Okay. So, we just proved that. Now, so what are the things we have learned? You have seen that if a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of interior angles. Let me show that. Yeah, okay. In figure, uh, if uh, P and P Q is parallel to R S, that somewhere. Okay. So you need me to repeat the steps, Charan. Okay. Let me repeat. It's very simple. No, Miss Ma'am, I am writing to take screen. Okay. 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 So, it is very simple. So, you are given that two lines are parallel PQ and RS then two angles were given. So, we just did a small construction. We constructed a line which is parallel to the line PQ and then uh, you can either use the linear pair axiom then alternate integer angles axiom and then find this angle to be a 45 degree. But here I just used angle uh, the, uh, the theorem which states that if two lines are parallel, then the interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. By that, I got angle QXM plus angle XMP equal to 180 degree. So, from that, I got angle XMP to be 45 degrees. And since AB and RS are parallel, so we can say that angle BMY is equal to 40 degree. So, since the angle that we needed to find was the sum of these two angles, we got that angle, angle x and y equal to 85 degrees. It is very simple. You can use any method and this just prove that. Just, just find the angle. Okay. Now, okay, Ramya, can you read the first theorem? First, yeah. Yes, ma'am. If a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary or 180 degrees, then the two lines yeah, are parallel. Yeah, so supplementary means 180 degrees, then the two lines will be parallel. Now, Dhanush, can you read the next theorem which we have discussed today? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, the line which are to the same line are parallel to yes, each other. lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. These are all simple things, but here we state this as a theorem, so we can apply it to every problem. Okay. Yeah. Now your home assignment. So you have two problems. This are exercise from exercise, second and third problem. You can note down. So in the first question in figure. AB is parallel to CD and EF is perpendicular to CD and angle GED. So, which is that angle? Angle GED. Okay. The total angle is 126 degree and you need to find angle AGE, this angle, angle GEF that is the small angle and angle FGE. 
so this angle so you need to find three angles in this first question and in the th second one in figure ab is parallel to cd and cd is parallel to ef and the ratio of some angles so y is to z is given to be 3 is to 7 so find the angle x try this and we will if you are not getting the answer we will discuss it tomorrow okay is that clear uh, this is yeah question 3 uh, sorry 2 and 3 uh, from exercise 6.2 okay so try to find this uh, find the answers of this question here do you have any doubts okay then you can leave children see you tomorrow thank you yeah bye bye